Hey guys, Jason CV Customs. So we're back on super service. We're actually getting to the end of this project because now it's, it's a running driving truck. What we're gonna do today is save the patina. Um, another guy out there, uh, broke bastard's garage, did a video on how to do it. So I'm gonna try his method and see how I like it. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is put, uh, instead of clear coating it, we're gonna clean it up first and then we're gonna put linseed oil, boiled linseed oil and mineral oil, kind of mix it up like he said. So we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, that's the project. Um, I wanted to show you guys this door because on, on the passenger side, we didn't have a lot of it on the video, but you can see the paint's flaking off and everything. So after we pressure wash it, we're gonna wash it with soap and all that, but we're gonna do it with like a, a Scotch-Brite pad because we gotta knock off all the little flaking. It's gonna kind of change the patina just a little bit and then we'll do the coating with the linseed oil. So don't forget to uh, subscribe. That's, that's one of the big things everybody keeps telling me. Tell people to subscribe. So I'm telling you, I haven't really done it in the past, but if you like the videos, subscribe and help my channel grow. So, all right guys, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna pressure wash it. We'll show you what it looks like before we start washing it with the Scotch-Brite. So as you can see, she's still kind of wet from the pressure washing. The door got a little more red to it. I wanna kinda of get in here so you guys can see all that flaky paint. So this door is gonna look a lot different when it's all said and done. It's unfortunate some of the paint didn't stay there, but we gotta we gotta knock some of those flakes off. But uh, this is the uh, backup, so you got a better view here. Kinda of give you a little view of the truck. And then I'll move it around to the pavement after it dries. And that's where we'll uh, we'll wash it with the Scotch Brite and everything. So, the goal is for the truck just to look like this for the rest of its life. So, we'll let it dry so we don't track in all the mud from where the pressure washer is, and then we'll wash it. Okay, guys, a couple things real quick. We're gonna use the soapy water and the pads. This is uh, okay. I got this method from Broke Bastard Garage. His video. So we're trying it. Now his truck was already prepped. There's a chance I may need to do a wet sand on this to really get the right effect, but we're gonna, this is trial and error. We're gonna see how this works. Um, one of the big questions I always get is, where did I get what I used? So what I did was, I'm actually gonna tie a link in the description to uh, the mineral spirits and the boiled linseed oil. I don't know what the difference is about the boiled and the, and the non-boiled as far as the linseed oil goes, but on uh, the Broke Bastard video, they said it was important that you use boiled linseed oil. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to get the camera a little closer and we'll see how the paint starts to look as we bring it off. All right, let's see how this works. Like I said, we may have to do a, uh, a wet sand or something. Because I don't really know if this is going to do enough. All right, let's rinse it off. Okay, so a couple of things that did. The yellow got more vibrant and the, the rust stuff came off of this. If we wet sand, there's a chance we're gonna use, lose a lot of our yellow and I'd like to keep the yellow. So I think we're gonna do the whole truck this way. See how it looks, and if we have to wet sand down the road, maybe we'll do that, but right now, I'd like to keep as much of this paint as I can. This door is honestly kind of the worst uh, condition as far as paint goes of the truck. So, again, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all that, but that's what I'm gonna do before we do the mineral spirits. So when we come back, We'll be prepped and ready for the boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. All right, guys, so I finished the sanding. I'm actually, I'm changing up what we're gonna do here. I've decided just to do this section, the door, the cowl a little bit in the back, 
We're going to put the linseed oil and everything on it. And then what we're going to do is in a week or two, we're going to come back. I'm going to leave it out in the sun. We're going to just let it cook. We're going to see how it looks after a little bit of time. And that's when we'll finish the truck. But you can see right now the color difference just from where I sanded. So I stopped right here. It looked like this when we started. Same thing on the bed. You can see the bed. It's a different color. Um, before I start putting the, the oil on it, I'll get a close-up real quick for you guys so you can see the difference. Um, now, I've already mixed the linseed oil and the mineral spirits. I told you guys I got this method from Broke Bastard Garage. and I'm gonna, I'll put a link to his video. He goes over a little more in depth. I just kind of want to see how it works, and that, that's really what this video is about. So... Let me get you guys zoomed in so you can see the difference. And then we'll put the mineral spirits and, and linseed oil on it. We'll see how that looks. And then, like I said, we'll do a follow-up video in a couple of weeks, a week or two. I, I, I want to give it a little time to cook. And we'll see how much it holds that color, that vibrance. And then we'll do the rest of the truck. All right, so here's a little view like this. Um, what we're going to do, let's get over here so you can really see the two different colors. Now, when we started, this yellow looked like that yellow. All the rust runs and all that stuff all came off. And if you uh, noticed in the rest of the, you know, previously in the video, all down here had that same rust. It just, it was streaking down. I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with the way the door turned out too. I was afraid we were going to lose a lot of the paint. I, I kind of think the character is pretty cool. I, I love the red that comes into it. I, I really... Wouldn't mind painting a truck like this. I like the red and the black, and I, I think that looks really cool. Um, but in any case, we're going to jump over and grab that. You see, I already got it mixed, and I, I just got a terry cloth to put it on. So I'm going to put it on, and then I'll jump back here with you guys, and we'll, uh, we'll look over how it looks. Now, again, I'm only going to put it where we sanded, and then I actually thought maybe I'll take a little strip, maybe some of this fender and, and some of the hood and, and stuff right there, and do do it on that and see how that looks without the uh without scrubbing it with the scotch right pads so just so when we come back on the uh, on the video for review we'll have more to look at we'll be able to look at how this looked how that piece looked so yeah maybe that maybe i'll do this fender and i'll do this and then we can compare what it looks like without the sanding, with the sanding, and, and all that. So the next video will kind of give us a little more information, but let's see how this looks with the mineral oil. Hey guys, forgot to mention a couple of things. Before I show you the review, I'm kind of tying this in before you get the rest of it, but uh, <clears throat> I want to I reinforce the idea that this, this method came from another YouTuber. I watched his video, and I did it. want to make sure you guys check out his video, Broke Bastards Garage. I'll, I'll try and tie it into the description never done that before i'm i'm thinking i can so i'm gonna try and do that for you guys but pretty happy with it so let's get to the review okay guys so it is applied and just look at the color difference from what it looked like to what it looks like now i just that just looks cool i think that color scheme is really neat um you can still see the difference here where we applied the oil without doing the uh, scotch bright so See the difference? It's definitely not as smooth. I mean, look, you can, you can see my sh my shadow or reflection moving in that like you would in a new paint job. That's pretty cool. See it a little bit in the other one, so that's cool. It's real reflective. Now, I will tell you, let me get a little closer here, see if you guys can see it. See all the fibers? That's the, uh, the terry cloth. Oh, there you go. You can really see it in that one. So, without doing the scotch bright, the terry cloth will kind of fray um, I'm thinking we're gonna like this system but we definitely want to do the scotch bright first I think again we'll review it but you can really see where I kind of drew my lines I just came across here you see the difference there you can really see it you can see where I stopped here because I, I really want to see you know what what we're gonna see in our in our difference when we come back and do our next video on it um, I did do the whole fender here. Well, you know, with the exception of where I stopped and stuff, so we can see differences. Comes all the way down. But that door, I think, turned out pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, 
Again, if you like the video, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, but also follow up so we can do our review and see what it looks like after a couple of weeks. So there you go, guys, and we will see you on the next video.